This is Misha and James with Connecting Kindly. Just wanted to uh, pop in for a moment. Let me zoom in on James. Um, he is uh, getting two of his um, Charleston Grays that are ready. He's going to show you guys. So you can't hardly see him for all of his vines over there. Okay. Okay. So he's got two of his watermelons. Let me get out of no, out of his way. He's gonna go walk them. Where are you gonna put them? He gonna take them on in there. We are working on cleaning up back here, but uh, we want to show you guys his watermelon. So. <laughs> he getting ready to prune back uh, the watermelon vines because they are taking over. Okay. As you can see, the watermelon vines have taken over. And I'm going to try to walk through without stepping on them. As you can see, there's, there's one big one right over there. Big, big one right there. We got one here, big one there. Come There's on, a big one here. This one ain't ready yet. I'm sure I can tell they're right. Okay. How you tell they're right, then? You see this right here? Yeah, you when they're the, good and right, the, the stem. You see the little stem? Once your stem turn all the way brown, dry out, then you know that water is good. It's ready to be picked. Okay. So um, we've got some more, but he's going to get ready to, uh, you know, we're going to get ready to prune them back because, you know, we've got enough watermelons, enough watermelons for us and um, we'll have to give some away. So we just wanted to pop in and, and show you guys what's going on with these Charleston Grays that have taken over our area. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. All right. Here we go, everybody. We got... Farmer James, what you got there? Got you a wild of building. Plant yep, planted some green. Say hi to everybody. Hey, okay. he he being antisocial, y'all. Oh yeah, did it taste good? I don't know it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, he picked that for his sister, so hopefully it tastes good. Oh, you gonna turn your back to everybody? Come on back and say get talk. Here. It's hot. It degrees, nah. You built for the heat, right? Whatever. <laughs> All right. So James has picked another Charleston Gray. This is another uh watermelon. We have uh <laughs> a video last week of him picking one. So we're just gonna put these two together to show you guys. The watermelon, um, doing pretty good this year. Not quite as good as last year, but they're still producing good. So we wanted to pop in and show you. Please like and subscribe, everybody. Be blessed. Okay, guys. James is getting another one of his watermelons. You think it's ripe? What side you go? He went in in the house. Tell everybody how many you you got so far this year. We got quite a bit. Here, let's take a look at it. All right, here's another uh, one of his Charleston Grays. The plants are kind of, you can tell that they're kind of dying back some. So we're just gonna let them produce a little while longer, and then we'll get everything cleared out. So, hope everybody's doing good today, by the way. We've had a very, very busy day today. All right, so he's coming back. Where are you going? Let me get the one up there. Okay. He's getting his meal, and let me get out of his way. All right. I got water in my oven. Uh-uh. I can't some green Look, guys, that rosemary is still looking good, huh? Look at these sweet potatoes. Yeah, okra plants doing good. 
Nope, something stole it. Y'all, somebody it? stole my eggplants. I had two of them. Boy, I tell you, you just plant things for the animals. That's what it is. So James has this little watermelon that's growing right here. This is the voluntary uh, vine they grew. So he's going to grab um, that one as well. Peach tree's looking good over there. It got another one. So, yep. I cannot believe that something stole my eggplant. Got some okra going here. We figured out that the okra kind of likes this container bed, so that will do pretty good. So next year we'll do more um, in there. But right now, um, I think the biggest thing growing is the, the sweet potatoes. And we did plant some um, greens, so we're just waiting to see if they're going to show up. Uh, we planted those down there. So, But anywho, guys, we want to pop in and and um, let James show you his uh, watermelon. So I've got like three uh, clips we're going to add all uh, to make one video because um, I have some where he picked some of the other ones. Um you know, just showing you how well the uh, watermelons did. So, James, what do you have to tell everybody? Tell everybody something. What you got to say? Grow your own food, you can. Okay, anything else? Y'all know he's and so... we're going to make a video with it, picking a <laughs> pear. Oh, well, we'll go to the pear, pear tree, tree and bring you guys with us. You know, he's so wise and full of wisdom. I just like to pick his brain every now and again. Ain't that right, James? He can turn his back to me and run off. Well, look, guys, this has been Misha with Connecting Kindly. James wanted to um, add to his uh, watermelon um, video just to show you the different times that he's picked. I think this is like the third time that I video. So we will definitely talk to you guys again soon. Please like and subscribe and comment. Have a great week, guys. Bye.